guys, it's God's Air Software's Num Freezer. Today I will be reviewing the Well R8 uh, G3 SAS. This is cloned off the Tokyo Marui version. The gun is 680 millimeters long, weighs about 3.3 pounds, and shoots 250 to 270 FPS with .2 BBs. And it has a 425 round magazine. So, what you're going to get is your 425 round magazine, the Nymical Hydrate 8.4 milliamp battery, triple charger, top rail system, a red dot sight, dejamming rod, and the guns. So now I'll talk about the Well R8. It's a very nice gun. It's not very, it's not too small, and it's pretty light. It is made of plastic, but there's not much wobble to this gun at all. A very cool thing is it comes with some metal upper rails that you can put up here and you can mount things like the red dot it comes with or the hog or whatever. It is completely Tokyo Marui compatible with parts and fully upgradable also. And the battery goes here under the rail system on the front. So it's not in the stock or out of the way. Um, there's a charging lever right here, which is very short and right there. Normal H and K charging lever, which is awesome. And when you do that, you can see it reveals the hop-up unit, which is this white wheel right here. And you can rotate it to mess with your hop-up. So this gun is maybe one of the best AEGs you can get, starter AEGs. Um, I would still recommend the CYMA CMO28 because that was my first AEG and it still works and I got that three years ago. So it's still a wonderful gun. Um, if you want to get a gun and you want to just mess around and upgrade it or something, um, you want a cheap starter AEG, this would be something you would want to um, consider looking at because it already comes with rails and places to mount more rails and more rails you can put on the top of the gun. And it also has H&K's wonderful diopter sights, which make pretty much anyone accurate with this weapon. So now, we'll go to Delta One for the internal reports on this gun. Hi, this is the internal reports, and I'm Delta One, of the Well R8. This gun is approximately $80 to $120, depending on where you buy it. I must admit, this is one of the best starter AEGs you can get. It is made out of a plastic body. It's very, it's very solid. There's not many, there's not much wobble to anything on this gun. Now, it does use the version two gearbox. It is very, very good for what you pay for. I'm absolutely amazed. The hop-up unit actually has a function when you pull the charging lever back. You can actually see the hop-up unit right there. Nice white hop-up unit. Now, it is really, really good. I'm very shocked on how good of a job Well did on the internals for how much you pay for this gun. I actually would recommend this to people who just want a gun to fiddle and upgrade with. So, thank you Delta One for those internal. No problem. I guess I can t I'll talk about the um, sort of disadvantages of the weapon. Um, one thing I think is kind of unusual, and they could have changed, is it uses a mini-type battery, and it goes here, inside this rail guard right here. I think they should have put it in the back, and they could have used a large type, which would have been better, like you can have a higher rate of fire or something, considering it has a full stock. If it had a folding stock, or if it had no stock, that'd be different, but <clears throat> just a weird thing. Um, the red dot set it comes with is kind of cheap. But it's not that bad, but I mean, it's just plasticky red dot sight, whatever. It's not, it's not bad. Uh, the stock is plastic and it does wobble slightly. Um, I don't like the charging lever because it's so short and I like doing the H&K slap. And it sounds kind of iffy. Um, it's stamped by well, right here. can't really see it very well. And it also has the markings for the 
fire selector switch, but they are not on the other side of the gun. So overall, I would probably give this gun a seven and a half because of all the crazy things you can do with it. Um, like Delta One will let me borrow this real fast. I mean, look, this this is just a little well, all right. You just put a 5,000 round double drum auto winder on here. 2,500. 2,500 round double drum auto winder on here. I mean, it's just, I mean, we put we put a ACOG on here. We put a um, 6x scope grenade launcher. You know, just. It's crazy all the stuff you can do. So, if you're looking, if you're looking to get into the airsoft world, and you don't want to spend a bunch of money, and you want a pretty reliable gun, this would be one that you could go after. So, yeah, this has been God's Airsofters review of the Well R8. Thanks for watching.